Well, howdy, folks. I have just had the most magical day here on planet Earth. Heck, I met farmers and cows and worms and microscopic organisms and found out how they are all working together to care for your magical planet Earth. Enjoy the show. Howdy Life Rockers, it's me, Leroy. I'm down here on planet Earth at Mount Alexander in Australia. And I've come here to find a very special friend of mine, the soil superhero, to see if she can help on today's quest. All right, I hope she still lives down here. Knock, 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 soil superhero. Who is it? It's me, Leroy, the space cowboy. Leroy? So, Word around the universe is that humans aren't quite looking after planet Earth in the way that's going to protect it for future generations. So I'm here to learn about the soil and how that's going to help us. Oh, I'd love to help. I'm a soil superhero after all. I've got some friends. They're farmers. They live close by. They're called the Harcourt Organic Farming Cooperative and they actually are doing amazing things with the soil. We can go chat with them and check it out. Well, I dig it out. Come on up. Yeah. Oh. Let me use my cosmic whistle right. here. We're going to teleport there. Okay, I'm ready. Y'all ready? <laughs> All right, now we're on a farm. Is this the right farm? Yep, it's the right farm. Let's go to the worm farm. This way. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's the soil superhero. Who superpowers are? Well, we don't actually know, but she sure does know a lot about the soil. And today she's going to teach us. So what's this bathtub looking thing then? So this is actually a worm farm because soil isn't just brown and boring. Soil is actually alive and it's full of millions and billions and super mega trillions of tiny little organisms and some bigger ones too that help to create healthy soil. And healthy soil means healthy plants and healthy plants means healthy humans. We're getting somewhere already. Let's take a look. So what we do is we actually feed the worms with all of our veggie scraps. So here you can see the worms, they're doing their thing, they're turning our veggie scraps into soil that we can use to grow food. So if we feed earthworms our food scraps, they will eat them and then poo them out as nutrient-rich soil that helps the plants grow. Heck, that is real life magic. You're a wizard, Harry. Now that we've got our bucket of worm poo, which might come in handy later, we're gonna go find our farmer. Ah, hello. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Yeah, good. Great. What are, what are you up to? Well, I'm going to make some compost tea. Now, hang on a minute. The soil drinks tea. Tea? Awesome. What's compost tea? Compost tea is really a big drink for the soils. So what will that do for the soil? It'll improve our soil so that the plants can access all the things in the, in the soil that they need to grow fantastic food. What do we put in the compost tea? So for the compost tea, we need to start with something. So the best thing is worm poo, worm castings. Have you got any of them by any chance? Oh, I do actually. Oh, because... look. Flashback, that's right, we grabbed some worm poo before. Flash forward. So step one, we've got our bucket. We've put our water in it, then we've put our air blower in it. Step two, we add our worm casting. So that's our worm poo that we're putting in and that's going in next. Step three, we turn our pump on. See, it starts blowing lots of air. The worm castings that's gone in there is being tumbled around and so all those good bugs are getting hit, knocked off into the water. So then step four, we feed our bugs. So what we want the bugs to do is make lots more bugs. So this is our liquid fish and liquid seaweed. Yeah, have a smell. <coughs> so the point of the compost tea is to make millions and millions and millions of bugs. Step five is to stand back and wait. <laughs> and so that's waiting for the compost tea to brew. We come back tomorrow and we put it out on the garden. Can we look at the bugs under the microscope? There's an idea. We can do that. And that's a good way of making sure 
that what we've done is actually worked. So we're just going to take one single drop of compost tea and look at it under the microscope. So, blub. That is all we need. And in there, there'll be millions and millions of little bugs, little microbes. All right, it's my turn to have a look at the microscope now. What the hootin' tootin' heck? I can see an amoeba surrounded by flagellates. Heck, these are tiny living creatures. I can't believe it. You were right, the soil definitely is alive. So we're gonna pour this compost tea onto this beautiful plum tree, which will help it to ripen up its fruits. From little things, big things grow. From little things, big things grow. All right, I'm just about ready to pick one and eat it. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Well, hot damn. You guessed it, healthy soil means healthy plants, means healthy humans. <laughs> Heck, that sure was a tasty it plum. Was so good, hey? Did you know that 95% of our food actually comes from the soil? Is that right? And what else relies on the soil? Well, basically anything that comes from a cow. Milk, cheese, butter, cream, yogurt, ice cream, meat, pork chops. Hang on a That's minute. That's not from a cow. Did you say ice cream? Ice cream. Cows. Well, hi, folks. My name is Leroy Yeehaw McCall, and I've come to see what y'all do. Last time I came down here to planet Earth, I was uh, speaking cow. Uh, let me see if I can remember anything. Mmm. Mmm. Heck, I think these cows must speak German or something. So Tess, why is healthy soil so important for healthy, delicious and creamy milk? Because it all starts at the soil. So you have healthy soil and then you have healthy pasture and then you have healthy cows who give healthy milk and make healthy humans. So hang on a second. <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> Right in. Dang it! <laughs> Trying to make a video and I step on cow poo. What do you and your cows do to help the soil? So we try and move around all the pasture and as they do that they put their poo everywhere which brings in all of the microbes and the bugs and then helps keep the soil alive. I believe this is the poo she was referring to. Heck, I can see some bugs on there now. So we have a mobile milking parlour, so we go to the cows rather than the cows come to us. And that helps keep the poo on the paddocks. This is an old Toyota Stout converted to electric, which also powers the milking machine out the back. We're well, hot diggy dog, would you look at this hot rod? <laughs> alright, alright, we're here to talk about the cows. Message received. So Norma here, Norma Jean is one of our big producers at the moment. And so I'm getting, she'll have just given me about 17 litres. So I'm just getting the last little bit of milk out of Norma. So it gets sucked out down these and then it comes into here and through the hoses into the bucket. It's a lot of milk. So to make this healthy milk, the cows need to have a whole lot of healthy grass, which grows from healthy soil. These cows are absolutely loving this tasty pasture out here. I might even give it a try myself. Heck, it ain't so bad. Do I look healthy yet? This is now gonna be the cute segment of the video. Can we get some cute sound effects or something, please? Would you look at this thing? Yeah, would you look at those beautiful eyelashes? You are so beautiful. So as we've learned here, we've got some brilliant humans, some amazing cows, and some magical microbes working together to look after the earth's soil. And as I've said before, healthy soil equals healthy humans. Well, all right, it's time to try some milk. Yes, it is. Are you going you gonna to shake it up or all something? Right. Or are you going to do I'll, the pouring? I'll shake it. How 
you doing there, Soa Superhero? It's stuck. Is Soa Superhero doesn't have super strength? No. <laughs> what are your superpowers anyway? Okay. Let's pour some milk. <laughs> well, how now, brown cow? Wow. Holy cow. That I mean, is... literally, that must have come from a holy cow. That is so good. Cows. That is a tasty beverage. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. What are you laughing about? <laughs> no, you're good. I, I mean, yeah, you're good. No, soil superhero, tell me. You don't have a milk moustache at all. Oh, I got a milk moustache? Alright, I'm going to clean myself up. So a superhero... Heck, I'm just trying to find where I saw a superhero's gone. Where'd you go? Oh, hang on, I think I found her. Looks like somebody's having a milk nap. Hello? <gasps> Oh. And how was your neck? Hang on, I think you got a slater on your face. What? It's under your glasses. <laughs> what well, damn? Oh, it's a slater. They're my favorite creature. There are actually more than 250 different names for slaters from all over the world. Such as Chiggywig, Roly Poly, Granny Grunter, Parsons Pig, Cheesy Bug, and Slate Cutter. They play such an important role in the soil ecosystem. They help to break down all of the organic matter and turn it into new soil and food for plants. Because all life on the land actually relies on healthy soil. Kangaroos, they eat the grass that come from the healthy soil. Koalas, they eat the eucalyptus leaves that come from the healthy soil. Even the trees that create oxygen for us to breathe. And part of my job as the soil superhero is to remind everybody that all life on the land depends on the soil. Thank you so much to Leroy the Space Cowboy and our soil superhero for showing us how healthy soil means healthy plants and healthy animals and also healthy humans. Yes, the more alive the soil is, the more life there will be on our beautiful planet Earth. So thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you next time. And whatever you do, do not forget that life rocks. Okay, bye.